Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Delilah's Spiritual Spot. I'm Delilah Rose and I'm coming with a September forecast for Leo. So sun, moon, rising sign for Leo and this is for all of September. Um, please like, share and subscribe and let's begin. I'm going to start off with my uh, Golden Girl Tarot. Um, this is to see the overarching theme we have for Leo for September. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. September, please. Yeah, this is it. Ace of Swords. So an offer. That is very good. I love this um, over our arching message. So guided by the divine here, I moved one of my crystals out of the way. Let's make sure you guys can see that. So Ace of Swords, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna just see what the, um, what spirit the animal comes for. Well, obviously, that's not all of them. I can't read them all, but I'm going to read the one that's turned over. And Sandpiper Spirit. Playful. So playful. Now, I'm going to be using my Light Sears Tarot uh, for the message. And please excuse the roughness of these videos. Um, I don't know how to edit quite um, right yet so these videos are not going to be edited and it's going to be in its raw form so you're going to hear me stutter okay so these two cards represent the subconscious and the conscious mind and then we're going to draw cards for the four weeks of the month here let's make sure you guys can see these yeah that's better I don't read reversals I reverse the cards as I see fit and just making sure everybody sees uh, all of this okay and now I'm just going to use my everyday witch tarot um sorry my modern witch uh is that what it is modern witch tarot to clarify just to make sure we um we're getting the right we're just gonna leave that okay now, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords here. So the Ace of Swords is new ideas. Um, new ideas and um, the ability to bring those ideas into fruition in, in forms of an offer. You have the Sandpiper Spirit along with this. So this is saying uh, to be... You don't, we always have to be serious with ideas, but bring the playful side in it. You know, bring the childlike mind to it. Sometimes things are best left to its simplicity. Now we have here the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. So the subconscious mind is thinking about money. It's thinking about growing money, seeing things grow into fruition. You see here, she's trying to pick um, this pentacle off the tree. We also see this white bird here, which represents spirit. So we're trying to tap into our spirit uh, world to bring in our ideas into financial fruition. Here we have the six of wands. Now the six of wands is victory, right? So our subconscious is thinking about money, right? Our conscious mind is thinking about how to get that money. Um, to to get you know our ideas out there and work on them and see things grow. So this is wonderful for, for Leo. So how do we get there? Ace of Pentacles. So this is um, three of three of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So if we have teamwork, if we go back to the drawing board, if we learn new things, we're going to be able to to get into um, 
making money making money basically is what this ace of pentacles is actually money um it's new job raise promotion investments new income new income from these ideas in your subconscious mind and conscious mind because you're trying to bring it all together um that's for the first week of september the second week of september we see here that we're a little bit down right because maybe we're stuck in our ideas and we don't know exactly where to go with this and we, we just want to throw in the towel but you still have a lot behind you like you all of it's not going down the drain all of it's not empty take a break um, because you need that the seven of cups um, so nor sevens right just the number seven is reflection assessment and knowledge so like I said taking a break reflecting on what it is you want how to get to it and just be easy for the second week because in the third week we see the conflict here now this conflict has to do with outward forces so this is people bringing your idea down or try to bring you down and just you know telling you maybe you're gonna fail you're not things are not gonna work out but here you have the wheel of fortune going for you so you can make all of this happen if you ignore the naysayers. Yeah, if you're not using somebody's money or time, take their opinion with a grain of salt. And if it suits you, it suits you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because the, the Wheel of Fortune here is dictating karma. So the again, you think of it like a roller coaster. You're on your way upwards. You're skyrocketing upwards, which we see here in the fourth week. In the fourth week here, you have the Eight of Wands, the celebration is victory. Um, right, and I love this, that we also have the Three of Wands here. So the Eight of Wands is victory. Here, the Three of Wands, you're standing with your staffs and you're surveying. You see these little ships here? Soon these will turn into big ships, right? You start off small and you're growing. It's just growing all of these ideas all of this work into money for you money for your future money for your family so again this is for leo for september 2020 um please like subscribe and subscribe subscribe and i am delilah rose and i hope this makes sense for you otherwise take what you need from this leo and um Whatever doesn't resonate, you just leave to the side. But keep this overall feeling with you. And that's what it is. Don't get stuck in your mind, whether it's relationship, whether it's money, and just move past it by taking a break and allowing yourself to feel the pain, just not getting stuck there. Again, thank you for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye.